at the moment I have um, I do supported lodgings, but in the past, um, because of work commitments, I've done um, emergency and respite. Supported lodgings are um, from 16 to 18 years of age, teenagers, but you teach them simple things. You, you teach them um, about budgeting, the fact that, you know, they, they're going to have this amount of money and that has somehow got to go towards this. Yeah. You know, you've got to feed yourself, you've got to have gas and electric. Supported lodging, I suppose, in thinking about it, well, I went into supported lodgings because of the age as well, because of working full time. Yeah. It's um, it's not so, so much a a commitment in regards as the fact that they're sixteen to eighteen, so they are kind of independent already, although not completely. But they have got that independence where you can go to work and they can get on a bus if they need to go to college, or you can drop them off on your way to work or whatever, you know. So in that respect, that fitted my work yeah. commitment. To go to the open evenings, um, because you've got a good variety of people there from all aspects of the fostering network, like you've got social workers, uh, you've got carers, you've got um, foster children there. and that. So you can actually, in that one little unit, you can actually, if you've got any questions, you can probably find somebody there that can actually answer it, instead of, like, say, keep ringing, you know, finding out things. Um, talk to people that have done fostering, you know, because it's not... <sighs> there are ups and there are downs, and you, you have to be prepared for it. You have to know that there are going to be times when you just want to pull your hair out, yeah. you know, because you feel you're getting nowhere. And But then the next day it's completely different. It's, you know, there are going to be times when you, you are going to feel that you know, and you have got to decide when it, when you are ready for it. Because, um, like like you said, I waited until my son was older, because I thought that was the right time for me. Well, that might be the right time for other people. You haven't necessarily simply because you go and look into it. You haven't got to do it there and then. You know, give yourself the time yeah. <laughs> to actually think. Yes, I'm ready for it. Yeah. You know, but talk to people yeah. that are doing it. Yeah. Yeah.